Hi everybody, it's Brandy Thigpen, Senior Real Estate Broker at Tyler York Real Estate Brokers. I am here in Industrious today, uh, taking a day to do a little paperwork, get myself in order, organized, and just wanted to take a few minutes to do a quick video. Um, hi, if you're watching. <laughs> we all know this is so out of my comfort zone, but I appreciate you watching. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about the number one most important feature that home buyers want in 2019. So any guesses as to what that may be? No? Yes? <laughs> it is the laundry room. So gone are those days of doing laundry in a dark, dingy basement. Coming from me personally, my laundry is in my garage and I hate it. I wish that I had a functional, dedicated laundry space. Um, Honestly, our lives are getting busier and busier than ever. And these days, buyers are looking for convenience and just a go-to way to stay organized. Having a functional laundry room that provides space for a to do laundry, throw those dirty clothes in to fold towels, keep laundry baskets out of the living space is super high on buyers must-have lists this year. I know, speaking from experience, my own home, we live out of our clean laundry baskets. If I had a more dedicated space to do laundry, I may be a little bit more inclined to do so. So I know just speaking from my own experience, I wish I had one, hopefully soon. Uh, extra space for storing jackets and shoes is a bonus. Uh, you know, in the summer, a, a dedicated space to store those winter jackets, winter boots, um, same for summer with your flip-flops. Um, things that you're not using in that particular season, that's a great place to store those items so that way you have some extra space in your living spaces. Um, so how do we do that? How do we create a functional laundry space? Do you have a laundry room that could use some help when it comes to getting functional and a little bit of style? Um, if you do, you'll want to prioritize this room, get it looking pretty, get it looking functional should you want to list your home for sale. Um, something easy you can do is add shelving and storage. You can add built-in shelving of the washer and dryer where you can store laundry detergent, baskets with extra towels, any household cleaning products, um, anything that you just want to keep above, um, out of kids' grasps is another way. Uh, just stick it up on that shelf. Uh, another spin on this shelving, if you don't want to do something that's permanent, you can get a storage cube and flip it sideways and then hang it above your washer and dryer and then that way you can organize things into each cube with different bins, different baskets. So another little you know, cheap, easy spin instead of having to do something that's more uh, permanent. If you're lacking space in your current laundry room, consider stacking your washer and dryer so you can have room for a bench with cubby holes underneath and hooks above. I know not everyone has that space to stack them, but should you have that room, that's definitely an easy way to accommodate more space. Um, you can get a little bench and then again with the, the shelves and the hooks, you can have a spot for someone to sit down and take those snow boots off or you know, take their jacket off, hang that jacket above. Um, super easy, functional, and even cute. Uh, easy, easy little item that you could do. So don't forget about storage underneath your washer and dryer. Uh, a DIY pedestal is a great thing you could do, um, you could make to place your washer and dryer on. That way you have a spot to slide your laundry baskets underneath. Easy thing you could do is divide those categories into, you know, dirty laundry here, uh, keeping laundry organized such as, you know, towels, lights, darks, you know, crush towels, anything, easy, easy storage. Um, and that's it, that's all I have for you today. That was pretty quick, I was moving through it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you wanna learn more about how to prepare your home for sale, um, please always feel free to DM me, text me, um, call me, <laughs> whatever works best for you. And I can give you some tips and tricks um, how to make every room look its best. I also have a little like home seller boot camp, you know, PDF that I could shoot over to you. Should you need it, just let me know if you'd like that. And thank you so much for tuning in this week. I really appreciate it. If you would like to comment below and tell me your biggest question you have about the home buying process and I will respond with an answer. Um, or if you want to do a, uh, drop me a question that you have, um, an idea for another video that I could do, please feel to let me, 
please blah, 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 coffee coffee need more coffee please feel free to let me know and I would love to help you I'd love to respond um, my phone number for texts or calls 615-417-3585 thank you so much and thanks for tuning in